Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to teach you some additional tricks about uh, multiplication. What we're going to do here is teach you how to multiply two numbers. Of course without a calculator. With a calculator it's easy but how do you do it without a calculator? So two digit numbers. Well if the number ends in a 5 like 35 that's pretty straightforward. The way you do that is you simply multiply uh, if you have like 35 squared you go 30 times 40 so you subtract 5, you add 5, you multiply those two numbers together, and then you add the last digit squared, and so that would be 1200 plus 5 squared is 25, the answer would be 1225. So you can do that in your head real quick, you say, okay, that is uh, 30 times 40, that's 1200, plus 5 squared, that's 25, 1225. All right, another way to do that in a more general sense is when you have a two digit number that you're trying to multiply or trying to square, I should say. Now what you do is you multiply the first digit, which is 30, times itself, so that would be 30 times 30, which is 900, plus then you multiply 30 times 5, which is 150, and then you do 30 times 5 again, which is again plus 150, and then, oop, not yet, we add one more, plus the last number squared, so that would be plus 5 squared, which is 25, and so you go 900, plus 300 is 1200, plus 5 squared is 1225, so that would be 1225. So that's how you do it in a more general sense. And since we now have a number that doesn't end in a 5, let's see how that works for a number like that. Again, you take the first number, which is 30, you square that, so you get 30 times 30, which is 900, and you should be able to do that in your head. You don't need to write that down. You simply go, okay, that's 30 times 30 is 900. And then 30 times 6 is 180, and you do that twice. So plus 2 times 180, plus the last number squared, which is 6 squared, so 6 times 6, which is 36, and then you add it up in your head, you go uh, 900 plus 360, that's 1260, plus 36, that would be 1296, and that would be 36 squared, so in your head you go 30 times 30 is 900, 30 times 6 is 180, you do it twice, it would be 360, 900 plus 360 is 1260, plus 6 squared is 36, 1260 plus 36 is 1296. All right, let's see if we can do that now without writing too many things down. So 66 squared, you go 660 times 60, which is 3600, plus 60 times 6, that would be 360, times 2, that would be 720, so plus 720, and then plus 6 squared would be 36, so you go 3600 plus 720, which is 4320, plus 36, which is 4356. All right, let's try it now with writing even less than. 29 squared, so we go 20 times 20 is 400. 20 times 9, that would be 180. Times 2, that would be 360. So 400 plus 360 is 760, plus 9 squared, which is 81. So 760 plus 81 would be 841, and so the answer is 841. And last one here, 42 squared, so we do 40 times 40, which is 1600. 40 times 2, which is 80, times 2 is 160. So 1600 plus 160 is 1760, plus 4, that would be 1764. Now there's another neat little trick that we can do is let's say we have a number that is almost like 20 or 30 or 40 or 50, like 29 or 28. You can think of 29 squared as actually being 30 minus 1 squared. And so this would be equal to 900 minus 30 times 1 twice, so it minus 60, plus 1, the last number squared. And so that would be 900 minus 60, which is uh, 840 plus 1, which is 841, and hopefully that's the same number we got when we did it over here, and it is. And so let's try that for 28 squared. So 28 squared, you can think of 30 minus 2 squared. Again, 30 squared, that's 900. 30 times 2 is 60. We subtract that, but we have to do it twice, so it's minus 120, so because 30 times 2 is 60, times 2 is 120. So 900 minus 120 is 780 plus 2 squared, that's 4, so 784. And that's how we square a two-digit number without a calculator.